if you are finding yourself trading in one of these for one of these, I've got a few tips to help you make the transition just a little bit easier. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, it's CJ Johnson. I'm sure that you've heard by now, pickleball is one of the fastest growing sports in the country. Why not? It's fun to play, it's social. We're having a great time out here. So if you haven't played already, I hope that you'll join us. What we're finding is that there's a lot of people who are converting from tennis to pickleball. Pickleball is not mini tennis. And today I'm going to cover a few things that'll help you make the transition from the tennis court to the pickleball court. First of all, let's talk about the grip. The preference for most people in pickleball is a continental grip. It's a more neutral grip. It's easier to use on both the forehand side as well as the backhand side. In pickleball, there's not as much time to switch grips, especially once you get to the non-volley zone. So by using a continental grip, you set yourself up for a little bit more success. What you're gonna notice in the continental grip is the V on my forehand is even with this bevel on the pickleball handle and the knuckle of my forefinger is even with that bevel. It's true that some of the better players used an Eastern forehand grip for ground strokes from the backcourt and then switch to a more neutral grip once they're at the net. If that's what you're comfortable with from tennis, go ahead, give it a try. Just keep in mind, once you get to the net, there's no time to be switching grips. Number two, in pickleball, I always keep the paddle out in front of you. In tennis, when we take a ground stroke, we tend to move the paddle way behind us to generate power as we move forward. In pickleball, we're going to be a lot better off if we keep the paddle out in front of us and make a shorter stroke. Number three is the footwork. In pickleball and tennis, the footwork is very similar. I think one of the things that you'll find is you'll be using fewer crossover steps. In part, you have a shorter distance to cover on the forehand. You'll also see that fewer players use a very closed setup. They tend to use a more open forehand in the pickleball forehand versus tennis. But those are pretty small differences. The one big difference is in the volley. In tennis, we're taught to volley by stepping forward to make the contact. In pickleball, we have this thing called the non-volley zone or the kitchen line. So if you step forward and take a volley in the air, you're in violation of the kitchen rule. So what you'll need to do here is make sure that you're up on the balls of the foot, keep the paddle in front of you, and volley with a very stationary body. All the movement is coming from the shoulder and the arm. Number four, this is not a baseline game. You are going to need to learn to soften the shot. In tennis, especially singles, it's played mainly from the baseline. We use a lot of angles and power to gain an advantage and to hit a winner. In pickleball, we need to learn how to soften the shot, be a little bit more patient, and wait for a ball that comes above the net, take advantage of that, and then make the foot away. As I said in the opening, pickleball is not mini tennis. There's a lot of things that are gonna transition from your tennis play onto the pickleball court, but pickleball is a game all onto its own with a lot of strategy and several differences that make the two of them completely unique and different and can be enjoyed by anyone. Tell me, what have you learned in transitioning from tennis to pickleball? Put it down in the comments below. If you got value from this video, if you wouldn't mind giving it a little thumbs up, or if you would, share it with your pickleball playing friends. Because together, we can train smart, live bold, and age well.